do this anymore. I just want a casual relationship and it's clear that you want something more. What? Not at all. I also want a 100% casual relationship. Oh, wow. All I ask is on days we should boink that you take me out first so I don't feel like you're using me. That seems totally fair. And I don't know, maybe you could just text me a few times throughout the week just to check in on me and see how I'm doing. Yeah, of course. And if I'm ever moving, I would expect you to help me as a common courtesy. I'm not a monster. Oh, one more thing. If you do horizontal monster mash with someone else, you do need to let me know. Huh, why is that? Because if you're seeing other people, I may decide I don't want to be a part of that. Oh. Because I'm looking for an exclusive hookup buddy. So shaboinking whenever I want, but just with you. Exactly. That sounds like a good deal. And I need you to keep an open mind about wanting more in the future. Like more hooking up. Like becoming roommates and living together. Then I wouldn't have to drive so far to shaboink you. Wow, you're so smart. What can I say? I'm not like other girls. If I'm being honest, I didn't think you'd be so open to this casual hookup thing. So what do you say? Should we go upstairs to celebrate? Totally. But I'm so hungry. Could we grab a bite to eat first? Do you want me to order in some sweet cream? I was thinking we could go out to that steakhouse on 3rd. Oh, that really fancy one? Yeah. We could even celebrate this every year on this day. Hold on. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Do you mind putting on something nicer? Uh, yeah, I'll throw on a nicer shirt. Sorry, hon. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver is here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, <laughs> you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, I'm old enough to remember there was a time in America that a black man could not get a cab. I mean, if you were from Miami, those Haitians were not picking you up. If you were from Atlanta, those Ethiopians were not picking you up. And definitely, if you're from New York, forget about it. You are not getting picked up. So it was a tough time for a black man to get a cab, right? And when I was younger, I didn't understand that, you know? I had so much hatred towards cabbies because they didn't want to pick me up. I'm like, hey, what's wrong with y'all, man? I got money. I got money. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going that far. Whatever you tell them, they're not picking you up, you know. You could give them a good fare, so I'm going 30 miles, and nope, nope, nope. But if it's a white man going around the corner, a two-minute ride, they'll pick him up before they pick you up. So I didn't get it back then, right? But now that I'm in the industry, oh, yep, yep, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Wow. It's the same thing as being a server. If you never waited tables before, if you never served tables before, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Just like this, if you've never been a cabbie or a ride share driver, you don't know what I'm talking about. But people that's are in, yeah, they know why. Yep, yep, they know why. No. <laughs> I remember when I first started, I had a minivan at a time. And, um, you know, I was fresh and green, and I was trying to get the money. I was going after it. I was waking up 4 o'clock in the morning. And just boom, 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 picking up everybody, anybody. Where are you going? Just go, just go. Dropping them off, dropping them off, right? And that's why I do the late nights. And the late nights lasted about maybe two months because I had enough of these drunk folks. You know, nothing good happens after 11 o'clock. I remember one time there was a, um underground rapper. I'm not going to say his name. He calls me for a charter. And um I go. And pick him up. I told him how much it's going to be per hour as a four hour minimum. So I go pick him up in his crew and it was four of them. They all come out with choppers on. I'm talking about banana clips and everything. Like, oh my God, what the fuck's going on here? Right. So I try to keep it cool. And, um, you know, they get in the car. I thought I was going to get robbed. I don't know what's going to go, what's happening. So we driving and I dropped him off at this barbershop, which was a after hours, uh, dice game. Right, so like, oh, this ain't gonna be good. They all got guns. I don't know what they got in there. So, 
I parked around the corner and just ready for them, right? So they come out and he wants to go to the to the trap house to get some weed. Like, fuck, man. So that four hours became six hours. At the end of the night, I like, dude, okay, you owe me six hundred dollars. He gave me three hundred. 320 something like that. He said, man, my dice game was looking bad, man. I ain't win as much as I think. Can I pay you tomorrow? And I'm just like rolling my eyes like, man, dude, what the f***, man? I just took the money because I ain't want no beef because like I said, they all were packing. All right? Took the money and that was the last time that I picked your peoples after dark. All right? If you guys know 285, if you guys know Atlanta, there's a highway that circles around the city called 285 and you got 75, 85 going north and south and I 20 going east and west that cross the city. Anybody that was under I 20, I'm not picking you up. I'm sorry. I was not picking you up. So that goes for Pittsburgh, what? Polar Rock, Metropolitan, no. uh, HE Homes, Bankhead, ABC Center, West End Mall. Nigga, I'm not picking you up. Bye-bye. No, call the cab. Not doing it. And I got in trouble with, um, Uber and Lyft because I was, I was, uh, um, calling them and, and, um, vetting them out to see who, where they going. You going to Walmart? Oh, hell nah. Click. Cancel. So I did, I had a lot of cancellation rates on my shit because again, there were some people I was not picking up. I didn't want to trouble with these mugs. And then the scammers started coming out. They had scammers that, uh, finesse Uber and Lyft. You, you'll pick somebody up and they'll say, man, go pick up a package for me across town, which was a fake account. You know, I didn't know it was a fake account. So I'm doing all these weird jobs. And then I figured out it was a f-ing fake account, right? Uber and Lyft. It took Uber and Lyft maybe two years to figure that out. They, all, they lost a lot of money on that, those uh, two years. But again, those scammers came out. It was not no Ku Klux Klan doing this. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, but here we go. I got fed up with these folks, right? Now we have DoorDash. You can't even do DoorDash or Uber Eats because they're getting in trouble. They're getting hemmed up. They're getting carjacked, pistol whipped over food, right? I remember I did a lot of jobs now. Um, I was a pizza delivery driver right in Mableton, which is right down the street from Perry Homes. Okay, if you guys from Atlanta, you know what Perry Homes, you know it was a rough and tough projects back in the days, right? Now, Domino's didn't have a um, a pizza limit, so you could order as many pizzas as you want. One day, one of the drivers got robbed for 10 pizzas, so they made it down to uh, two pizzas. You can't order no more than two pizzas if you're going to Perry Homes, right? I go in, this is my first month out there. I had two pizzas, go to Perry Homes, and do snatching pizzas for me, went into his apartment, and I'm like, damn, nigga, can I get paid? <laughs> no, they ain't paid me. So I had to go back to the store and tell them what happened. So they went from two pizzas to no pizzas. If you want a pizza from Perry Homes, you got to come to the store and pick it up. It's going to be the same thing with Uber Eats, DoorDash, certain parts of town, we're not going to drop off your pizza. We're not going to drop off your food. You got pizza delivery drivers are getting killed. DoorDash people are getting killed for their cars or for a cheap thrill or whatever it is. Wow. And again, it's not the Ku Klux Klan that's doing this. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So you guys are going to f*** for everybody. I don't care. You call me what you want. I know a lot of strong pro-black folks, you know, black power, all this, until they start doing this job or start waiting tables, or in the service industry, start dealing with their own folks, they're like, man, niggas are crazy. Yes. So, you're f***ing it up for everybody. Y'all gonna go right back to, nobody gonna pick you up. You live in the wrong side of town, I'm sorry. I'm not picking you up. I could deal with one or two of y'all, but two or more is a gang. You're not getting in my car. I'm sorry. Can't do it. And it's all... Most of these people that's um doing these crimes are raised by single mothers. So single moms, take a bow. These are your sons. This is your product. This is what you're raising. 
you know, we got a lot of guys in prison right now, a lot of black folks in prison, single moms, raised them. Okay? So don't look at me for the answers. I keep telling y'all, I don't have the answers for this shit. I don't give a fuck. But I know what I'm doing. I'm not picking you up. I'm not picking you up. Sorry. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you got any value out of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And all you scammers, get off my lawn.